My name is Dana Probert, um, and I want to share with you some information about getting ready for a floodplain study using AutoCAD Civil 3D and some of the geospatial analysis tools. Um, shapefiles connected here for road center lines and stream center lines. And I'm just going to switch to the geospatial, task-based geospatial workspace and bring in the map task pane so that we can see all of our material. So I can use the data connect there on the task pane or I can just drag and drop anything else I'd like to connect from like shape files or SDF um, or anything like that and it will transform it to the coordinate system for the drawing. Since the default style is a little overwhelming I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that solid fill and just have like a nice light gray line so that the parcel polygons are there for my reference but they're not necessarily blocking my view of what's going on. And of course I could label or theme or stylize those par parcel polygons. If I click on one and check out the data table I see that this is not just you know, the polygon information, this is also information about whatever the county might have shared such as tax parcel number or potentially ownership information or street address depending on what your jurisdiction provides. Um, I'm going to drag and drop in some polygons representing different flood zones. This could be data that you pulled from FEMA, it could be something that your local authority has, something you've created, and I'm going to theme it by zone so that I get a feel for what zones are in the proximity of my project. And then I'll just assign a different color palette, make it a little bit transparent so that we can see through it. That foreground transparency option will make it so that your polygons are lighter or darker. So this is pretty useful for not just flood studies, but any any kind of mapping or exhibit making that you currently do with highlighters on paper or um, if, you know a photo editing software where you might scan in some maps and overlay them with your plans or, or you know eyeballing them into AutoCAD. So I've just themed it so that each zone is a different color and added a label to each. So I see I have zone A um, and AE are definitely within my area of interest there around that stream and then some larger X and so forth. So all I really care about are the zones A and the zones AE so I'm going to make a query just get that out of the way to say show me only zones A and zones AE so if you first pull down the property it will tell you all of the different um, bits of object data that are attached or, or bits of information that are attached to each polygon and I can not have to remember each code I can use that select property um, list over there press the insert value button and I want all zone A or zone AE so I just build that expression and press OK so now I've queried it so I'm only looking at the two zones that I care about now what I'd like to do is take these zones and overlay them with the parcel information so that I know which parcels, I can identify which parcels are affected by these two zones so I could do some reporting. So I'll switch to the feature map tab and go to feature overlay. For my source data I'm going to pick the county parcel polygons and for my overlay data I'll pick the floodplains polygons. I want to do an intersect overlay. Um, I can change the name of the output file, it's going to make an SDF file for me. I could change the name of the layer it's going to create. It's going to create a brand new layer over there in the task pane for me. And then for sliver tolerance, you know, how is it going to treat those little tiny polygons that might get created? I'm going to let it suggest for me and then press OK there. It's going to crunch the numbers and perform the overlay. And once it's done processing, what I'll see is a brand new layer that is a combination of the first two, not only in geometry, but also in data. So if I go into the data table for any one of these new polygons that's formed as a conglomerate of where the county tax parcels inter intercept the, um, the, the flood zones, 
I go into the data table, I'll see that it has components of both. So I have the tax parcel ID as well as which FEMA flood zone is it, what firm panel does it appear on. So I could even use, um, you know, control A to select all, I won't do it now, but control A to select all, and then go options export, take this into Excel, and rearrange this rearrange the information take out fields add my stuff put my company's logo on it and whatever kind of reporting that I have to do about these lots are affected or these lots aren't so that's a good idea for if you have to do flood studies as well as anything else where you do have to report on where one area overlaps another so thanks for listening we'll talk to you soon